out on another little jolly today pull that down hopefully the microphone can hear me now oh it's a bit wet on the floor I think we'll go out the uh, some other back lanes today in the opposite direction. Oh, it's a bit dull. got so much gear on here I look twice the size of myself but at least I've figured out the chest now <clears throat> I've got a little chest guard thing that uh, stops the cold from hitting in your chest and all it is is a piece of well kind of PVC material um, with foil on one side and then it's backed by like a felt material and it's got like a vicar collar <laughs> it's black but like a vicar collar around the top and all you do is slide it over your head and hang it down your front put your jacket over it and it really does stop the cold So I decided to go in the opposite direction today See we can't find some country lanes to get lost down Places where I've never been before Oh, police crime unit, you know what that's for Excuse me. People always keep their indicators on when it's quite clear you can only go one way. Oh, does anybody else have that problem when you've got all your winter gear on you can hardly turn your head? I have to keep moving my head around trying to loosen stuff up. Got my brand new warm socks on with the batteries in them. Ooh, 
I don't know if you can hear that on the recording, but that wind is... Uh. When you stood still, there is actually hardly any wind to speak of. But when you get going on the bike... Big hole in the road there, looks like it's all subsiding. Slow it down a bit for these bad corners. <clears throat> and here we go in the back lanes there's some um, COPSE small cups of wood um, just over to my left and during the second world war they uh, they held machine gun posts. There they are. And that one there held um, a machine gun post in um, what they used to call a pillbox made of concrete. It used to cover all these different roads. From over there you could see all these roads here and all the roads I've just come down she had a good view of them all Brookhays farm down there nice little farm shop down there you get lots of stuff just a family run thing Okay, so time to see if we can get ourselves lost and then find new places. There's a farm in this area where every year they grow maize which I believe is a lot like corn um, and it grows really tall and really thick and they actually make a maze for people to wander around inside it inside the maze <laughs> Apparently they do quite well, people taking the kids there every year. They do actually, they give you a stick with a flag on it. And when the kids go in, if they get lost, they just stick the flag up in the air. With a number on it, I believe. And the people, there's somebody sat right in the middle of the maze. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if it's... Uh, I think there's somebody sat either in the middle or on the outside edge and if you see a flag come up 
they can shout through a megaphone to the number that's on the flag and give them directions of where to go but you only use the flag if you're getting really upset you know oh going on here oh thank god they followed the rules not have enjoyed meeting up with that on the way over the top well we do have um, a Met Office warning of more severe weather so I thought I'd get out today look at all these fields all <coughs> ploughed over again so much respect for farmers Dunham Village Hall what lovely places around here Axon Cleaver Public House oh I might have to go in there nice church post office roofer up there doing my old trade look at this lovely bit in the middle of this uh, crossroads here lovely old houses the old picket fences It's all gates. This is the wall around Dunham, Dunham Massey Hall in Cheshire. In case you couldn't hear that, this is the wall around Dunham Massey Hall in Cheshire. Now just in front of me, over the other side of the canal, there's a monument. I don't know if you can see it. It might be covered by the trees. I think it's covered by the trees, but this gate, this railing here, I just showed you the um, the house through the railings. Apparently, when one of the heads of the household died, he did the old Robin Hood trick, and he got somebody to stand on the balcony and fire an arrow and it landed just over the other side of the canal and he said bury me there <laughs> now you can believe whatever you want <laughs> personally I think he just said bury me there <laughs> where you can all see me from the, my monument from the window Look at these beautiful little cottages. And then on the other side, modern, I think. I think we'll go down this little bit here. The road that goes off to the left. Look at the old lamps, aren't they? Brilliant. There you go, there's another one. <clears throat> careful on these corners oh what a lovely place to live 
Bet it's quiet down here till you get some bugger on a bike like this. Just feel like you're gonna, if you go on any of these fields, you're gonna get somebody coming out with a shotgun screaming, Get off my land! <laughs> oh, I can smell a bonfire. I do like a nice bonfire. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I know where this is. I think I've just realised, well, I don't know this bit of road, but I've just realised what the road is over the back there. Oh, man, look at this house. Oh, no, I wish I lived there. Oh well, what can you do? love riding out in the countryside looking at all the open fields and the woodlands Much more comfortable ride today with all the extra gear on. Warm socks, so I've got toasty feet and toasty calves. Yeah, got a new pair that uh, the electrics actually go wires actually go up the calves as well, your shin and the calves. So it's like the whole lower leg and your foot is actually nice and warm. Uh, might have to switch my gloves on though. I can feel a bit of cold coming in my hands there's one nice Jacobean house over the still left there not that that's a bungalow Here's a nice country pub as well. The Saracen's Head. That church. What a lovely church that. Looks really old that. And then you've got these houses over here. Look how old they are. They are lived in. But they're very old.
another one wrapped up like an onion in that corner there when they built those houses they found um, what they thought at first was just the water to an old little pond anyway once they dragged it they found out it was um, oh what did they call it um, dipping pond a witching pond and at the bottom of it was a seat that they used to dunk people accused of witchcraft I guess once the witchcraft thing stopped they just smashed it and uh, dropped it into the pond but yeah there it was so there's an old witchcraft uh, sorry so there's an old witch dipping pond yay got both me both my gloves on now that just goes to a farm Wind's cold on the old face. Tried to wear one of those, you know, those face mask things you can get to wear under your helmet, but I can't wear them, it's too claustrophobic. Traffic lights down a country lane, there's a don't see that very often, do you? go down mill lane first oh farm jeez massive pile of muck that stinks oh we'll have to get to smelly vision or smelly audio whatever you call it so you can all smell that with me because I bet you'd love that <laughs> oh young lady running horrible feeling this might just end up in a farm a farmyard guess we'll find out we're in no rush <clears throat> can you imagine living in a house out in the wilds like the all right not the wild out in the countryside like this Thank you. Nice people pulled over for me there. I have no idea where I am. 
Oh. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> now I know where I'm going. Why I'm going so slow? Can open up a bit here, I think. I have a feeling this might be taking me back to where I've just come from. I really need to be going to the right to avoid doing that. Let's see where it goes. across so I can see what's coming <laughs> is anybody else like just going out and getting lost on the bike you find some nice places that I need to go that way again. Yeah, this is where I came down before. I've just done a big, a big loop. Back to the traffic lights and we'll try the other way. I think goes under a bridge. Look at that posh garden over the gate. Well, you're a bit lower down than my eyes are, you might not be able to see it. Well, that was a bit sketchy. Very wet and slippy under there. Let's go down here. caravan we when you that wood all over it oh man I feel so heavy with all this gear on right let's see if we can wiggle our way back now that landing on you <laughs> I've been noticing lately that um, a lot of comments that I, well actually all the comments that I get so far have been off men and um, as I've said a few times my channel is actually aimed at men and women that used to ride and I'm sure that there are some women out there still who are debating whether or not they could actually do it again so if, you do, if there is any ladies watching these videos please feel free to comment 
Tell me what bike you used to ride. Tell me places you used to go. Adventures you used to have. Look at that, not oh, beautiful. High Lee Garden Centre. Might have to go there. into a place called Mia Oh, I like that. Oh. Straight up. Time to head back, but I think we can still enjoy ourselves while we're doing it. Oh, no, don't want to go there. I think this may not be able to hear me with that. Oh, um, I think that this is the road that comes out of the back of Tatton Park so we'll go and find out about the noise guys if you can hear that wind ah, ha ha yes yes I know where we are in my mind I was one road over from where I thought I was
one of the vents has come unplugged during the winter I plug up the air vents on the helmet it's a good helmet but they don't have any way of closing the vents so you get freezing cold so I need to check on that when I get home many of you who watch my videos will recognize this road the Tatton Mile it's one of the uh, main ways that I get back where I came from just got to be careful because these driveways where cars can come out from like there you just can't see them there's a road up here as well this is the one I said I was going to go down and have a look so let's do it might as well today's as good as any other day I guess oh mind that Is this it? Yes, I was. I, I came here um, from a different direction a while ago. I know I can get back to where I was going now. I love how they do these hedges. I just don't like how they cut them or the machine that they cut them with. Yeah, I thought that was the one. Eagle eyed viewers may recognize us coming out here a week or so ago on another little adventure right it we're just on a big circle again we're right at the beginning of the Tatter mile Here we go, take two. Okay, time to mind out for the driveways I talked about before. Okay guys, I'm going to end it there, so hope you've enjoyed that one. I felt a lot warmer today. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you do uh, have friends that like bikes, let them know, please. Uh, yeah, just one last thing. If there's anybody out there who watches these videos who actually enjoys <clears throat> a bit of uh, leather craft making things from leather I also do that and I have a channel 
called Shaman Craft Projects all one word if you put that all in one word in Google you'll find me again making things out of leather you knew I was gonna do that so <laughs> Yeah, so I'll spell it for you, S-H-A-M-A-N-C-R-A-F-T Projects, Shaman Craft Projects. Okay, I think that's it, we're coming to the nearly home now. Thanks again guys, take care, and I'll uh, catch up with you all again soon. Bye for now.